YouTube, what it do? Welcome to McFly's Kitchen. And we're going to do a Mexican lasagna, my way. We got the uh, extreme high fiber, the lean. Got a lot of carbs in it, but these tortillas I use. We got the ground beef. And for 12 serves and all that. Mm -hmm. and cilantro. Mm -hmm. and cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sauce. Then you got the rice. Cilantro lime. And I got these beans because they're real flavorful and they go good with the uh <clears throat> with the uh with, with the one I use, you know what I'm saying? And uh these go good, you know what I'm saying? I like these better than the black beans when I do this right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, regular cans of Rotel. Mm, 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 mm. That's what we got right here. And that's what we finna roll with, all right? Let's get it going. Mm, 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 mm. Go ahead and get this ground beef in the pan and get it going. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it up in there. So what I, I did, I added both packs of taco seasonings. I added both packs of them. And I added some butter. And I added some... Onion powder, some oregano, and I added some real minced garlic. This is a lot of ground beef, and I didn't want to use that many packs of taco seasoning, so I added some, you know, personal, real shit instead of the processed shit. You know what I'm saying? We have enough processed shit already, but you know, I like to add herbs and spices to just a, you know, regular 99 cent pack of taco seasoning. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna taste better. This really is the best version I've made, and that's why I stuck with this. Version, cause I done tried so many times to make this shit so many different kind of ways, and I fucked it up so many different kind of ways. But I finally found this way that I can stick to it, and shit, I'm, I can stick to I can stick to this recipe right here. All right, but this butter is gonna make the flavor stick out more. We're gonna go ahead and just cook this shit down, cover it up, and let it roll. All right. And see when it's cooking like that, we're gonna go ahead and cook this down. We're gonna turn it up. Right there, just so we can go ahead and just right there like medium high, so we can cook this down. You know what I'm saying? But most of this, all of this ain't like grease and fat. Most of this like the butter and uh <clears throat> and some of the taco seasoning and shit I put in there too. So we're gonna cook this down a little bit before we drain it. Okay, I went on here and tuck it off and I drained it, right? And I left a little bit of juice at the bottom and that little corner right there, not that much, just like a little remainder. It ain't shit to it. And I'm finna add two cans of Rotel to this, all right? All right, we're gonna go ahead and blend this together. Once we blend this together, we can go ahead and just cut our oven. Well, I can go and do that now. You can cut your oven on 350, you already know. The signature move, 350. No, y'all happy about that bullshit. But yeah, let's blend this together. Okay, I went on ahead and blended it in. Now it's time to go ahead and get this pan ready. Gonna spray the bottom with olive oil to keep it from sticking. And we're gonna put these in layers. I like the texture of them too. These are pretty good. They're real dope. Perfect for this lasagna, alright? Pretty fucking perfect. Yeah, it's kinda like a little doughy feeling, you know what I'm saying? The real doughy feeling. We're gonna go ahead and lay these in the pan. So you're gonna put them in there like that. You know, you can cut them any kind of way. <clears throat> I usually tear them. I mean, it ain't like nobody gonna look in the pan and say, man, you tore the, you tore the tortillas. Ain't nobody looking for that shit. But yeah, you can just put them in any kind of way you wanna put them. And, uh, and then you can add it any kind of way. And with this rice, <clears throat> I use the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. It says you're supposed to put it in the microwave for 90 minutes. Don't put it in the microwave for 90 minutes. Because after you mix all this together in this little dish right here, it's going in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour. Alright? Let's start off with some cheese. Alright, we're going to go ahead and add the beans. Okay, I got the beans in. And may I remind you, these beans... They have jalapeno peppers in them, so it's going to be a little spicy, okay? 
I know some of y'all might not like that spicy shit, so I'm just get I'm just warning y'all before y'all buy these beans, they're gonna have some some uh, jalapeno peppers in there. They're gonna bun your ass. Alright, bun the shit out you. Keep it moving. I'm finna go ahead and <coughs> add this meat. But before we add the meat, we're gonna add a little bit more sprinkle of cheese. So we can go ahead and just, you know, it's gonna melt together. Add a little bit more cheese, then the meat. Cheese. Meat. Sprinkle a little bit more cheese. And then your rice. And then you sprinkle a little bit more cheese. And after that, you repeat one more layer. Now see, I'm sprinkling just a little bit, not a whole lot. Because when it melts, it's going to grip together. But I don't want it to be, you know, too cheesy. I just want it to like, you know, not the whole hands, but just, you know, grip fingers. You know how you know when you're in a relationship, instead of holding hands, I want it just to lock. You know how y'all motherfuckers be walking side by side with your pinky locked and shit like that. That's kind of what this cheese doing. Instead of holding the entire fucking hand. Keep it moving. Repeat the same process. Again. Tortilla. Now we're going to add some cheese. Now I added some cheese. Now you notice. This pan is getting kind of full, ain't it? Now with that being said, all you got to do, top it off with some meat and a little cheese and you're good to go. And I can move to another pan in case you want to make two. I'm going to make two because I like this shit. And plus, you know, ain't no telling. I might have a company. So, hey, they're going to like it too. Hey, what they be saying on commercial? Hey, she's gonna, she likes it too. She'll like it too. You know, you know that shit they be doing on the damn, what them, the male enhancement commercials and shit like that. Hey, they'll tell you to buy some shit. And hey, she's going to like it too. So, hey, fellas. She'll like this shit later. Hey, you do. He gonna tear this shit up. You know he be coming home, you know, getting fucked up and ch chilling with his boys and all that. And hey, go ahead and hook him up with one of these right here. Hey, I'm telling you, these five right here, this is the best batch I've made yet. You know what I'm saying? So I decided to stick with this recipe right here. I use always using ranch style beans with the jalapenos. Moving on. So I got the cilantro, the, the cilantro shit diced up in with the cheese. All right. I just added some meat on top, some cheese, and some cilantro. And since the uh, pan's so thin, we're going to cut the stove down from 350 to 275. From 350 to 275, we're going to cook this with no foil. We ain't going to put no foil on top. Just let it roll slow. Because I'm going to make another pan. It's going to be a smaller pan since I got some left. And we're just going to make two of them. All right? 275, all right? Okay, we got both of them ready. We got the King and we got the Junior. Alright? Now, you see, I got the oven on 270. <clears throat> I mean, 275. And, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in there just like that. I ain't gonna put no foil over them or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget about them. Just let them take their time and just cook slow. You know what I mean? Because you don't wanna, you know, really just too much burn the shit out of it. But you don't want to cover it up neither. Just let it go ahead and cook naturally because everything is already fully done. So just go ahead and place it in there. And once the top of it, top of it, you know, all the shit, the cheese and shit melted on the top. Hey, you in there. Alright? Just drop it in there. Let it go. How long will it take? All you gotta do is just look at it. If top of if the top of it melted, and uh it's all good from now. Hey. Hey, it is fire. I'm telling you, these flavors, hey, they're going to fuck your taste buds up. It's pretty fucking good. You know what I'm saying? That ranch, hey, it packs a lot of punch. You know what I'm saying? It's going to bless your taste buds. It's going to hook your ass up. Tell you, hey, do that shit just like that. You're going to be 1,000, baby. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my Mexican lasagna right there. I made a little bit too much, so I had to go ahead and pull out the junior pan. And that's it. You good to go, baby. P the McFly, he's the shit. If you don't like his cooking, you can eat a dick. Thank you for watching. I'll be seeing. I'm gone.